seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey everyone, so this video is going to be talking about what you should pick up if you're going to get a puppy. So all of the things that I'm going to show you are going to fall into five different categories. One for sleep, two for food, three for play, four for health, and five for training. So the first thing that you're going to want to get is a bed, probably the size that your dog is going to be when they're an adult, and also a nice blanket to go along with it so that they're nice and comfortable. You may also want to get a crate if you're planning on crate training your dog. So there's so many different types of dog food, but you want to go with a puppy food so that they get the proper nutrition. You also want to get them a bowl for their dog food as well as a bowl for their water. We also need to pick up a couple of toys. Of course, a puppy is very playful, so they're going to want to play with a lot of toys. It's always nice to have a teething toy so that your dog can go through their teething phase as well. We also want to take care of grooming. So it's good to pick up some toothpaste and a toothbrush specifically for dogs and get them started on teeth cleaning, as well as a regular brush and nail clippers so that they can get used to the feeling of being groomed. There's also shampoo that you can pick up and I always recommend getting the big tubs of shampoo that can be diluted. It's gonna last you for a very long time. There's also puppy shampoo out there so that if it gets in your dog's eyes, it's not a big deal. Another nice thing to have for bathing your animal is to have a waterproof apron. This is going to save you from getting drenched. It's also good to start cleaning your dog's ears regularly, so picking up a good ear cleaner and some cotton balls is always a good thing to do. So for training, you are going to want to pick up a regular leash as well as a retractable leash. The retractable leash will simulate off leash and you can train your dog to come on command. Um, you also want to get a regular collar and a halter or a harness. Um, it's important to have them on a harness or a halter at the beginning so that they don't have stress on their neck while their bones are developing. So treats are also very important. I like to get them treats with no artificial preservatives and especially freeze-dried treats I find are really good. You can break them up into bite-sized treats for training purposes and having a good treat pouch is also awesome. You can store your keys in it and it's just great to be carrying around while you're training. All right, so now that you know what to bring home for your new puppy, uh, hopefully it helps with their adjustment. Just give them lots of love and they'll adjust to their new home very quickly. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope that this has given you some things to think about when you're going to get a new puppy and take care. See you guys later. Bye!